Hey Saggies, welcome to your weekly love reading, November 19th to the 25th. Hope you guys are doing really good. Um, I do have an announcement. I launched my Patreon account. I'm so excited. Um, so I'm going to put a link in all my descriptions moving forward. Check it out. See what you guys think. Um, there's a lot of extra content there, so check it out. Um, I'm really excited about it. So for those of you that are new to Tarot or new to my channel, please know that this is a very general reading for the sign of Sag Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. <coughs> Excuse me messages come through for those that need to hear it okay so that's not that's not always for the major collective okay i can't stress that enough these messages will not resonate for everybody i like i can't believe i still get messages of like that's not my story not your story it's not your story quiet my cat's acting up i'm sorry give me a second sorry anyway um i still get messages of people saying that's not my story it's like yeah i that's fine <laughs> It's not going to be everyone's story. I can't read for every single Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the entire world. I mean, no one can do that. Only God can do that, and I'm not God. All right? <laughs> anyway. All right, I'm done. I just had to say that because I was reading the comments yesterday on some of the videos. I was like, I was trying hard not to roll my eyes when I came across stuff like that. Anyway. Anyway, very thankful for all my other subscribers that are, you know, loving my videos and post really uh, nice messages. And I love that I see you guys, like, help each other out, too, which I think is really, really cool. Um, so, yeah, it's not going to resonate with everybody. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Don't make it fit. If it's not your story, it's not your story. It's just whoever had to hear that message had to hear the message, right? And it is all energy, guys, so it can go both ways. Messages could be for you or your partner or someone in your media environment that you interact with on a very regular basis. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, also, don't hang up on the gender of the cards. Nothing's gender specific. Everyone has masculine energy. Everyone has feminine energy. If it resonates with you and it's your story, you know who you are in the story. Okay, let's get going. Any messages for my Saggies in love, November 19th to the 25th? Any messages for my Saggies in love, November 19th to the 25th? Ooh, Ace of Cups came flying out. Okay, all right, Saggies. November 19th to the 25th. Any messages for my Saggies in love? November 19th to the 25th. Any messages for my Saggies in love? November 19th to the 25th. Any messages for my Saggies in love? November 19th to the 25th. Any messages for my Saggies in love? November 19th to the 25th. Let's see what we got here. I can't believe Ace of Cups came flying out so quickly. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm -mm. I don't know, my throat's been like that all day. Any messages for my Saggies in love, November 19th to the 25th? Any messages for my Saggies in love, November 19th to the 25th? Any messages for my Saggies in love, November 19th to the 25th? Ooh. All right. Overall energy. Justice in reverse. The Libra card. Major Arcana card. This is interesting. So something needs to be balanced out. Something really needs to be balanced out. Um, and it's weird. It's like, it, I don't think... Okay, here's what it is. Someone feels jilted. I think that's the right word. I'm, I think I'm using that correctly. Words aren't my forte. Um, someone feels like something wrong happened. Like, like a not to the degree of a betrayal, but it's like... Uh, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, well, that wasn't so cool. Or it's like thinking someone's up to something, but they're not really up to something. That's just the kind of like energy I'm getting. There's a miscommunication kind of going on here. Something isn't what it seems. That's what it is. Something isn't what it seems. One person feels like there's injustice going on that needs to be righted. The other person, the person that is in question, um, nothing bad is going on, but they are they are being really secretive about something. I know it's just one card. They're, they're being evasive. They're being evasive and it's making the other person think that they're 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 hiding something or that they're like cheating or it's like or that they've done something wrong, but it's not anything like that, but they're being evasive and I'm not it's not really clear as to why. Um so justice isn't coming to pass, okay? I know. I know, lots of stuff. And we have the Ace of Cups, like I said, and we also have the Hermit card, the Virgo card. So we have Virgo and Libra so far, Saggies. Um, the person who's being evasive is doing the Hermiting. And the other person's just like in their head, in their head, in their head, in their head. But we have a beginning of love here, okay? So this, this is, 
already coming out to be a very interesting reading. I'm going to clarify this Justice in Reverse card, even though it's overall energy. I'm being really called to. There's a lot going on with that Justice card. Clarify Justice in Reverse for my Saggies in Love, November 19th to the 25th. Clarify Justice in Reverse for my Saggies in Love, November 19th to the 25th. Clarify Justice in Reverse for my Saggies in Love, November 19th to the 25th. Also, guys, I'm considering doing a 2019 yearly forecast reading for all signs. I'm considering it, just depends on how much time I have, since I started my Patreon account. I started my Patreon account because um, I'm trying to see if I can do these full time. And if I can do these full time, I can give you guys a lot more content. So check it out, see what you guys think. If it pans out, then I will definitely be doing a lot more readings. I'll be doing, um, I'm thinking of doing cusp readings, single reading, singles readings. I'm going to do the yearly forecast reading if this, if I can do this full time. Um, I don't know if I'm going to pick a card. A couple people have asked me to do that. I don't know. Not my style, but we'll see. We'll see. Not making any promises. Clarify justice in reverse for my Saggies in love. November 19th to the 25th. Clarify justice in reverse for my Saggies in love. November 19th to the 25th. <clears throat> okay. Clarify justice in reverse for my Saggies in love. November 19th to the 25th. Clarif Clarify justice in reverse for my Saggies in love. November 19th to the 25th. Uh, clarify justice in reverse for my Saggies in love, November 19th to the 25th. Okay. So we got two cards here. Overall energy. Ten of swords. Okay. Interesting. So remember earlier I wanted to say betrayal, but then it couldn't really come out of my mouth. Um, I still don't feel like it's a true betrayal. Something definitely, like, is going on, but it's just more because someone's being very evasive about it right now. Okay. That's all. But it's coming to an end. This this weirdness between the two of you, it's 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 coming to an end. One person thinking they're cheating on me, they're up to no good, they're a trickster, they're lying to me, da 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 what are they doing in the dark? Other person just being very evasive and like not really understanding why the other person's reacting the way that they are, that that's coming to an end, okay? <clears throat> now these are two cards that came out to clarify it. We have the, th I know it's the heartbreak card. I know. And I know, I already know, I can already feel the ship, the, the thoughts. It's got to be third party. I'm, I'm not sensing that. Hold on. I'm not sensing that at all. I'm not saying that it's not a possibility. If you know there's a third party, then you know there's a third party. But for the story and energy that I'm sensing, that's not what this is. Okay. So we have three of swords and then the knight of wands, Sag energy, right? This is you guys. Um, Aries, it could also be any, um, it could also be Aries or Leo. This is a double fire card. Um, there is hurt feelings because someone thinks that someone's up to no good, right? Um, but Saji's, it could be you or your partner, but I'm feeling like it's you guys that are going to address this. You guys are going to address this, whether you're feeling this way or you're the one being evasive. You guys are going to be the one to address the situation, okay? Because there is pain here because there's this miscommunication and this misunderstanding. Um, oh, okay. The person who's being evasive, the person who's trying to heal, I mean, that's what I was going to say, um, that they're trying, they're also trying to heal. I'm getting that really strong, that, that this is almost a mutual feeling. There's a little bit of mirroring going on here, guys, um, for some of you. One person's hurt because they don't understand what's going on and they feel like the other person is is up to no good and being a trickster. <clears throat> Excuse me. The other the other person, the one that's being evasive, does have a lot of past pain that they're trying to deal with in this hermit mode. Okay, and that's why they're being evasive about it because it's something they don't really want to talk about. And that's just the truth of it. They don't really want to talk about this this hurt that they're feeling. And it's connected to their past. Like, I almost feel like it's connected to whatever happened before you were in their life. <clears throat> or, and again, you know, you know who you are in the story. I'm just going to speak as if the Saggy is the one who is not being evasive. Okay? Your partner is one being evasive. That's how I'm going to talk about the story. You know if it's vice versa for you. Okay? Um, so this is really interesting. But I really feel like Saggy's, you're, you're the one who's going to initiate trying to resolve this weird this weirdness it's weird it's just it's weirdness okay but let's look at your person let's see why they're being so ev evasive i mean i i think it's just because they don't want to talk about it but 
no one goes into hermit mode just because of not wanting to talk about something, right? <laughs> it's usually because someone's really stressed the fuck out. Okay. Clarify hermit. Clarify the hermit card for my Saggies in love, November 19th to the 25th. Clarify the hermit card for my Saggies in love, November 19th to the 25th. Oh, this is also during Thanksgiving, too, huh? Thanksgiving's on the 22nd, I believe. <clears throat> Keep in mind, guys, today's the last, the da da da. Today, Venus is going direct. So happy. Oh my god, I'm so happy this nonsense is over. Mercury goes retro tomorrow, though, on the 16th, so I know that really sticks. Um, clarify Hermit. Oh, that's why this is a miscommunication. Mercury's in ret gonna be in retro. Fun. Um, <laughs> fun, fun, fun stuff. Clarify Hermit. Clarify Hermit for my Saggies in Love, December 19th to the 25th. Clarify Hermit. I mean, I am kind of more curious about this Three of Swords, so I might look into that a little further. Um, with my Vice Versa deck. So happy I have that. Clarify Hermit. Clarify Hermit for my Saggies in Love, 19th to the 25th of November. Clarify Hermit. <laughs> clarified with the hermit um overall energy <laughs> king of pentacles this is taurus energy could also be capricorn virgo or any air sign gemini libra aquarius but heavy taurus energy this is some this is a family man someone who is very grounded very abundant brings in the abundance brings in wealth could also be someone who's a little on the wealthier side um oh that's interesting yeah, i just got a little message yeah definitely there's an imbalance of income here in this situation Someone is more so the breadwinner. Let's just let's just put it that way, okay? Um, in hermit mode, clarified with hermit in reverse. Wanting to come out of hermit mode. Sorry, I thought my cat was up to something. Uh, wanting to be clarif clarified with the hermit in reverse. So they really want to come out of hermit mode. They're trying to. They're they're really ready to. But they were in hermit mode mostly because they were they were waiting and kind of looking at what they've uh, invested so far, looking at the seeds that they've planted and just kind of contemplating. It seems like they were contemplating the relationship is what it seems like. And if they were healing from past hurt, it probably was from a past relationship. And maybe that's why they've they've put themselves in hermit mode to be a little hesitant about this connection. OK. Because they've had to resolve the this um, their past issues and their past pain, but Mer it's like it's almost like Mercury sent them into hermit mode. Is kind of what I'm feeling here. Um, I don't know why I'm getting this like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Almost like this person is like. <sighs> Like if there's like if there's a little pool, a pool of commitment, <laughs> like like a little like wading pool, whatever, a little like swimming pool, and you put your feet in and they put their foot in and then it's like they took their feet out and then they like came back and they took them out and they came back and they took them out and they came like they, they can't like they almost every time they come closer to it, they get scared and then it's like they back up and then they get and then they go back because they miss you and they love you and then they get scared and then it's like it's like this weird back and forth yeah they just they have to wrap up this healing they really have to wrap up this healing um let's use my vice versa deck and clear that up okay let's see let's look what that deck has to say oh i'm so happy i have this deck clarify three of swords and you guys paid for it so thank you very much clarify three of swords for my saggies and saggies like i said you guys are hurting too so we're probably going to get multiple messages for this three of swords okay it feels like both of you have pain from very different sources for very different reasons. And I don't think your partner is aware of the pain they've caused you. If for the partner that's been evasive, I don't think they're aware that they're hurting you. If you haven't said anything, say something. Okay? Because I think this person really cares about you a lot. It's my cats being mischievous, breaking stuff. Um, this person, I think, really cares about you a lot. I don't think they'd ever want to hurt you. But they're hurting you because they're being so evasive and so hermity. <laughs> okay? They're being stuck in this hermit mode and it's it's causing you pain. So even if, 
like you reach out to them and they don't always respond because they're being a hermit um just say it just be like hey this is actually like starting to hurt my feelings <laughs> or like hey feeling like you're not interested anymore what the hell's going on it's like don't be accusatory just like say how you feel you know what i'm saying okay clarify three of swords clarify three of swords Clarify Three of Swords for my Saggies in Love, the 19th to the 25th of November. Clar Ooh, clarify Three of Swords. Oh, very interesting. Overall energy, we have the Seven of Swords. This is the other side, but this is the side that came out in your reading. So I forgot to tell you guys. So this is a new deck for me, and it's literally double the meaning, <laughs> the meanings, because it's it's vice versa, right? It shows you two sides of the, of the same coin. Um... So it's taking me a long time to learn all the new meanings. So just bear with me. I'm pro I am going to have to pull from the book for this one, okay? Um, seven of... Did I say seven of swords? I meant to say seven of wands. I don't know why I said swords. <laughs> Deception, maybe? I don't know. Seven of wands. Let me see what this side means, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. Seven of wands. I'll read it out loud, just in case you guys are curious, and I'll hold it up so you guys can see. All right, so seven of swords on this side. When you get this side in a reading, the low stone is symbolic of a slight elevation in status uh, with an implied warning to not exaggerate its importance. It's a step up, but there's still a lot left to achieve. That said, you can take pride in having succeeded thus far. Let that pride feed your ambition, not your ego. Yeah, okay. So this is almost like victorious a little bit, which I think is weird for a Seven of, of Wands card because Seven of Wands to me is very like um guards are up defensive a bit of a challenge feeling like you have to stand up for yourself okay and so that's great so someone is standing up for themselves and i i really feel like for the person who's being evasive and doing the healing they're being victorious because they're standing in their power right pain from love comes from i don't want to say loss of power for a scorpio that's how they see it i guess because i'm a scorpio that's probably why i felt that way um but pain from love you know, it's because you were vulnerable, right? It's like, it's because you allowed for someone to come in and sometimes, you know, and no one's perfect and everyone's been here, but sometimes <clears throat> when you let someone in like that, um, you don't always stand in your truth. You don't always stand up for what you, f you don't always stand up for yourself, right? Or what you feel you should stand up for because you're like, it's my partner. I'm trying to be understanding. Okay, I know they don't mean it that way. You like, you come up with all these justifications, right? Someone is standing in their truth and standing up for themselves in their healing. And that's this evasive person, okay? Now, there's another side of this, Saggies, for those of you that are feeling the pain because you think your person's up to no good. It's making you defensive. Just keep that in mind. It's making you defensive. And the more longer you stand in that, it's going to really affect your ego. Okay? It's going to make you um, bitter. All right? I'm just being honest. Okay? All right. Now let's see all these. Oh. Oh, I don't like. Oh, okay. Wow. So we have five cards here. I don't like the positions they're in. I'm just telling you right now. We have the Empress. I know, you can't even tell what it is, right? Because her back is turned. You have the Empress. You have the Queen of Pentacles. You have the Ten of Cups. You have the Queen of Swords. And then you have the um, Eight of... No, no, I'm sorry, Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups. Okay. So let me just stack all of these. Let's look at these two cards first. Empress with the Queen of Pentacles. This is the same person. This is the same energy. So Empress is usually, you know, someone who's very um, intuitive. She is like all the queens combined, okay? She's very intuitive. She is like Mother Earth, like the ultimate mother is the best way to think of her. And then the Queen of Pentacles is the spouse, the, the perfect spouse, the love of your life. Um, this is how this person sees you as the empress and queen of pentacles they don't see you in this position they see you as the queen of pentacles and the empress it's like you are their person come true i know that might be hard to believe with how you guys are feeling and what you guys are thinking right now but they they realize that because they're standing in their truth now 
okay they're standing in their truth and healing their heart from their from their past heartache and now they see you for for who you are they probably see you more like this the queen of pentacles and empress facing forward ready to love ready to be there ready to to you know do the work but this is how you actually are right now why because you're defensive and you're feeling the pain okay so this is you but this is how they see you but this is how you're coming across because this is the truth right this is exactly how you're feeling in this moment during this week because you feel like your person's up to no good and it's made you and it's made you defensive it's made you turn your back on them okay and Oh, just be careful. It's making some of you guys really unfocused, like, and not able to be productive. It's really affecting productivity and work ethic. Okay, so please be careful of that. It's like, that's a slippery slope that can easily put you guys into a depressive state. Um, but your, your partner is like, thinks the world of you. Okay. Even if you don't feel that <laughs> right now, because you're feeling defensive. All right. Now we have, um, oh, I also forgot to mention Empress is Libra energy. Uh, Libra and Taurus energy, it's Venus energy. And the Queen of Pentacles is Capricorn energy. Could it be any Earth sign, any water sign. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Now, we have the Nine of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Queen of Swords is smack dab in the middle. Smack dab in the middle. Queen of Swords is Libra energy. Could be any air sign, any water sign. Uh, Aqua, Gemini, Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The Queen of Swords is a no-nonsense queen. All right? She's also very independent, like fiercely independent. She's typically like a widower kind of energy, but this is about seeking clarity and that's why her back is turned. She's not really ready to talk and to face shit and Saggies, I'm talking to you. This is your energy right here because you're feeling defensive by this whole situation and all you want is clarity and truth. So you've turned your back to try to find it. You're like, they're not gonna talk to me and give me clarity and truth. And you're right, they're not because they're being a hermit, they're hiding, okay? Um, so you're trying to find your own truth. Now we have 10 of, pen ten, ten of pentacles. I don't know why I said 10 of pentacles, 10 of cups and the nine of cups. Um, I actually really like them in these positions and I'll tell you why. So this is the other side of the 10 of cups. Yeah, the other's a rainbow and they're hugging and shit, but they're in the desert. <laughs> Their love is dry. Okay. But this is the other side. Look how beautiful that is. Look at all the water. Right? That's like touching those cups and you like, are those wings? Oh, it's a lotus. Oh, that's interesting. So it's a lotus and you see that statue? That's actually a statue that's in the Ace of Cups in this deck. So yeah, this is like, and you have the Ace of Cups here too, all right? So there is love here and it's happening. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. Let me get some water. And it's not here. <laughs> I literally thought I had it right here. I must have left it on my desk. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Um, okay, well, I've shown you all the cards on the board. Hold on. I'm just going to pause. Sorry, Saggies. I'm such a dork. I know. All right, so getting back to the reading here. Okay. So this Ten of Cups is like the best Ten of Cups to have in this deck, okay? As opposed to this side, all right? This is like trying to get to the Ten of Cups, but you're not sure how to make it happen. This is you have it and you're starting anew as well. Not only do you have all emotional fulfillment, but you also have a brand new divine beginning. Look how divine that looks. If it will focus, it probably won't. No, it won't. Anyway, so you're seeking your clarity. And, you know, you're coming to realize that this is very much a possibility, Sagis. You're coming to realize this in this painful energy, okay? And I'm feeling like it's probably more towards the end of the week. Um... Now, you also have this Nine of Cups here. This is, you know, self-love and self-fulfillment as well. But this is also wishing. All right. And you guys are really kind of being fantastical about it. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Because, yeah, you're hurt and you're a little pissed off and you're defensive. But you really want this to happen. You want this to come to fruition. And I'm telling you, it is. It's going to. Now, for your partner, again, because this is like, th these cards pertain to both of you, but for different reasons, Okay. Like I said, your partner is being evasive, all right? They're finding their own clarity as well. It's just different clarity. You guys want clarity as to why this shit is happening and what's going on with your relationship. They want clarity with their past hurt and their past pain, okay? Because all they've ever wanted was their wish come true. And they're realizing that it is within you, okay? 
it's within you and they have it with you. So it's interesting. You go, you both are coming to a very similar realization about each other, but in very different ways and for very different reasons. Okay. Whew. And one of you, Saggies, it's going to make you bitter if you stay in the pain. Okay. But don't stay in the pain. Move towards what you know can be possible, even if it feels like you're not going to have it. Hold on to that because that's going to keep you from getting bitter from being defensive and eventually you know from becoming depressed and then your partner is coming to this realization because they're healing their heart and realizing that you're not going to do that to them whatever their past people did to them and they're feeling very victorious about it because they're standing in their truth they're standing up for themselves and for what they deserve and the, what they deserve is you and you deserve a partner who's going to love you just as much now we have Ace of Cups. We'll clarify this and then we'll wrap it up with some Romance Angels and that'll be it. Clarify Ace of Cups. Clarify Ace of Cups for my Saggies in love. Clarify Ace of Cups for my Saggies in love. For December 19th. December. I keep doing that. December. For November 19th to the 25th. Uh, maybe you guys are going to be really happy in December. November 19th to the 25th. Clarify Ace of Cups and the Saggies in Love. November 19th to the 25th. I can't even believe I'm doing like end of November readings already. Thanksgiving's already here. Clarify Ace of Cups. Clarify Ace of Cups. Doesn't help that Thanksgiving's early too. There's a hell of a lot of November left after Thanksgiving is over this year. Clarify Ace of Cups. Clarify Ace of Cups for my Saggies in Love, November 19th to the 25th. Clarify Ace of Cups. Clarify Ace of Cups. Clarify Ace of Cups. Clarify Ace of Cups. Got the lovers is the overall energy. Um, for me, guys, this is uh, indicative of twin flame energy. And when it's coupled with the two of cups, so I see a pair. Oh, there is a pair. I, how did I not realize that? The queen of pentacles. Remember, it was facing this way, but just so you can actually see her. Uh, queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles. So there is a true pair here, guys. This is a lot of twin flame energy. Now, the two cards that came out to clarify, we have king of swords and the six of cups all right so aquarian energy heavy air energy too gemini and libra um yeah uh, new beginning in love with your poss possible twin for some of you oh there was another card that came out oh that's interesting three of wands in reverse um oh that kind of changes it a little bit interesting um your king of swords is someone who really likes to communicate a lot they like to do a lot of talking i think they're probably a oh, it's almost king of wands-esque this feels really familiar energy. I feel like I've picked up on this energy before in another reading, but I don't remember. It feels really familiar. It's like they're a bit of a charmer. Anyway, you have a history with them. You're practically twins. If you're not, if you if you're not sure you're twins, you're definitely soulmates. <laughs> you definitely have a past life together. But someone has really high expectations with this three of wands in reverse. Someone has high expectations and another message. This is just a separate message. Um, both of you are done waiting for this. Both of you are very much done waiting for this to happen. And so it's like, there's this weird stagnation, right? It's like with the justice card and this pain that they're feel that you guys are both feeling in different ways. And then someone's going to hermit mode. It's like both of you are done waiting, but it, it seems like it's taking you a while to get back together. It really seems like by the end of the week, you guys are going to be really happy. But it seems like it's taking you a while to make that shit happen. And someone's having really high expectations. And I think it'll lead to... A little bit of disappointment in the temporary but this feels like a really awesome connection leading to some really great things um yeah it's leading to some really awesome stuff so you're gonna be disappointed in the meantime and i'm sure it's you saggy if you're the one who's feeling that pain of like my partner's being evasive i'm sure they're cheating on me etc 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 um but i don't think you're gonna be disappointed i don't think so let's clarify three of wands in reverse We'll use vice versa deck. Clarify three of wands in reverse. Oh, oh shit, I'm at 30 minutes? Oh my god, how did that happen? <laughs> I don't know how that happened, guys. <laughs> Clarify three of wands in reverse for my Saggies in love. I almost said December again. November 19th to the 25th. 
Clarify three of wands in reverse for my Saggies in love. Clarify three of wands in reverse for my Saggies in love. Oh, all right, well, this wanted to come out, so I'll let that stay out. Oh, huh. Wow. Okay, judgment. Yeah, this is going to come together. Clarify three of wands in reverse for my Saggies in love. That's too many. I'm not taking all that. Okay. These cards are also very slippery. <laughs> so bear with me. Clarify three of wands in reverse. Clarify three of wands in reverse for my Saggies in love. Clarify three of wands in reverse for my Saggies in love. Okay. Alrighty. Overall energy. We have seven of pentacles. Mm. And I don't like this side of the Seven of Pentacles. This is looking at what you've invested and not being very happy about it. In Sagis, I feel like this is more your energy. Like, you guys are the ones that have high expectations and you're like, what the fuck? I put in all this time and effort to be with this person, to love this person, and they just go ghost. They go hermit on me. Um, what the hell? But I'm telling you, it's coming together because it's clarified by the Two of Pentacles and Judgment. And these are the best sides to have it. These are the other sides. If you're curious, this is someone just trying to find the balance within themselves. And this is like, this is negative judgment. Like you see how um, alone they all kind of are. It's like alone and kind of lost, right? Not really know how to make a judgment, being kind of left behind. But no, this is, this is your energy, guys. This is the energy around the three of wands, okay? This is someone who has maintained a balance for others. Like you see how they're performing for that group right there, but it touches both people. You guys are finding that infinite, infinite, in, excuse me, infinite harmony amongst each other, okay? Because someone's trying to balance out their shit for you. That's definitely what I'm sensing. And the judgment card here, the divines at play, they're, they're here and they're judging you guys and you're looking up towards the heavens and it's like, wow, Okay, glory, glory, divine, and success, all right? Success, I keep getting success. Yeah, I wouldn't even be worried about it. You guys, like I said, Sagis, you guys are going to be fretting about this. Whoever is the one that is not being evasive, again, if it's not Sagi, um, whoever's not being evasive, you guys are going to be very defensive. You're going to be very um, sad. You're going to be very hurt. You're going to be fretting a lot and feeling like you wasted your time. I'll come to find out by the end of the week you didn't. By the end of the week, yeah, you guys will be more more so coming together with this Ace of Cups and Ten of Cups and Nine of Cups. I'm like, this is beautiful. But right now, your back is turned because you're defensive. And the, for the, remember, this is the 19th to the 25th, okay? Um, yes, I just, honestly, I wouldn't... I know it's going to suck and I know it's going to be very very aggravating like I feel very frustrated on your behalf okay <laughs> I feel the frustration to come but try to be pa <laughs> look what look what came out I was about to shuffle engagement this is just what this is leveling up the relationship doesn't mean an actual engagement it could be for some of you but leveling up the relationship anyway <laughs> let me shuffle now uh any messages for my saggies in love november 19th to the 25th since this is gonna be a long ass reading <laughs> any messages for my saggies in love november uh 19th to the 25th i almost said the 15th Ooh, all kinds of stuff maybe the 15th is significant for you oh today's the 15th i know i know oh because venus is ending maybe it's opening up the avenues for you guys any messages for my Saggies in love, November 19th to 25th? I'm going to stop getting tongue-tied at some point. I will, because I have to. It's, it's annoying me. Any messages for my Saggies in love, November 19th to the 25th? Any messages for my Saggies in love, November 19th to the 25th? Any messages for my Saggies in love? That's too many. Any messages for my Saggies in love? November 19th to the 25th. Any messages for my Saggies in love? November 19th to the 25th. Okay. See what the cards have to say. Before I pull the cards, I will. I just want to let you know what um, signs I'm um, are here. I see Libra twice. I see Virgo twice. Um, Taurus twice. 
Actually, I see Libra three times because of Empress. Um, I see Aquarius, Gemini. Don't know if I said Taurus, Taurus, Capricorn. Yeah. Okay. Any messages for my set? Oh, and Saggy, of course. I forgot. Saggy. Any messages for my Saggies in love? November 19th to the 25th. Any messages for my Saggies in love? Oh, you see how that flew out? Wow. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. I'll tell you right now, it's not it's not that. It's you guys are very spiritually connected. I feel like I've pulled this card for you guys almost every reading the last couple weeks. There's a a lot of spiritual um connection connections I'm, I'm i'm sensing and it's just like it's it's beautiful and i really feel like your guides are really close to you guys right now you guys should be seeing a lot of synchronicities i'm just kind of staying in the energy it feels really nice you're so connected it's like it's it's just kind of inevitable that this is going to work overall very soon as I said, it's going to work. And I said very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Yeah, there's going to be some manifestation here kind of going on if you really want this to happen. But it seems like it seems like the steps have the steps are already in motion. It seems like the event. That's what I meant to say. It seems like the events are already in motion for this happening. Just be patient with your partner because they have two hermits here. They I don't think they want to be stuck in hermit mode that much, but because it seems like they want to get out of it. But they, they have to do this healing. And trust me, guys, you want them to do this healing before they try to go into union with you or try to come back to you if, you've got, if you guys are separated, okay? You want them to do this. Trust me. Because they're trying to be the king of pentacles for you, which means that they're thinking of commitment. They're thinking of taking care of you. That's what the king of pentacles does. Especially when if you get that with the king of cups. Hey. <laughs> Ooh, love and abundance. Okay, take care of me, please. Um... So let them heal as frustrating and infuriating as it's going to be. Just let them do that. All right, Saggies, don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Please be aware Mercury's going retro tomorrow. Plan your shit accordingly for the next three weeks until December 6th, I believe, is when it goes direct again, okay? Um, and also, don't forget to check out my Patreon page. I'm still uploading a lot of stuff for the two tiers, but I do have a lot of content uploaded already, okay? But I'm always going to be uploading content for both tiers continuously every single week, okay? So go check it out. See what you guys think. I look forward to seeing you guys again. Please have a good week. Enjoy yourselves. Enjoy your Thanksgiving if I don't post any videos before then, okay? Bye!